Hello, everyone. Morning. Good morning, and welcome to our Thursday build three veterans building a whippet. <laughs> to this side of me, I've got Man Flu himself. What? No. Mr. Oh, Gary right. from Friends of Heroes. Sorry. And this side, on this side, on mine, <laughs> 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 I've got Mr. Marley. I'm like, do I need to move my camera? Why didn't you tell me? Good day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's how it's Gary. Before, Mikey. That's how it's Mr. Marley. Ah, <laughs> uh, professional start. That's what you didn't tell like. me I needed to flip my camera, did you? You goon. Well, we didn't know. <laughs> I can't see your screen from here, can I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, after his next time, is check. Right, check who's Which where. Side are you on this side? Oh, <laughs> 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 well. Oh, look, there's there's people here already. Mm. I know. Oh, <laughs> You're <head>. Jake's in. <laughs> yeah, my Jake's in there. Oh well, here we go. We're in trouble. So I believe. What sort of week have you had, Mikey? Uh. Not too bad. Been working on the V2, doing some lighting on that. Um, being traumatized by you, pair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> watching Gary slowly dying. <laughs> yes, I've had camera. bad, 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 bad. <laughs> As you can tell by my deep, husky voice, lovely boy. <laughs> um, I, I have been fighting. The, I have been fighting the man flu this week. Actually, I think I've been fighting the COVID. To be honest. Oh. Yeah, I can't say that on here. You'll get us struck off. <laughs> yeah. well, what about you, John? Oh, yeah, well, hang on, I'm trying to think what I've done. Oh, I've been working on a, I mean, sidle over here. Uh, Hornet, this is covered in paper, but it's 48 scale. <laughs> Look at those wings. <laughs> Take the <laughs> but That'll it's, never um, fly. No, well, <laughs> 48 scale kinetic hornet, it'll be a, a, the warm one. You know what that is, It's the air that's the turbulence over the oh, wind. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I, I, I didn't know this was going to be on, um, you know, YouTubes, but there you go. No, I've been pottering on that. So that's that's, that's coming on a long ride. And that's about okay. it, really. Brilliant. I haven't done much on the Matilda. But um, anyway, back to what we're doing now. Yes. What about you, Mikey? Mikey? What, you, what you been doing? What have you been doing, Gary? Uh, this week, mostly coughing. Uh, I have started work on the Airfix Messerschmitt ME410, mm. but I've only just really got going on that one because it's, it's been a bit of a struggle. You might I've... need to show people because that's not an, that's not a, a normal plane to hear about. Um, right, so everything doesn't fall out. That is upside down. <laughs> um, I've, I've literally just started oh, putting wow. the coffee together, but that's what I'm what I'm building off camera. Um, and uh, oh. also been learning video video editing for the yeah, uh, <laughs> for the friends of models for heroes uh, YouTube channel, um, which is a whole new hobby in itself. <laughs> all I'm this sure Marion loves you for it. <laughs> all, well, I'm out of the way. She didn't care. Um, <laughs> All this while suffering with 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 man flu. Oh, hmm. should we get the violin out, John? <laughs> Let's go through some comments. So when it shows up, Tiff says, "Who what?" Hang on, we missed one here. <laughs> Tiff says, "I'm here." Hiya, Eddie says, "Hiya, Tiff." Who's, uh, who's putting the kettle on? Tiff says, "It's your turn, hmm. Eddie." Let's see how quickly we can rattle through this conversation. <laughs> Carrie, good morning. Jake, morning. pops you stink. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tiff, morning, Kerry. AD, I'm of Tiffany. I have a beer. Tiff, it's too early for beer, AD. Oh, it's probably I'm okay, Tiff, having a beer. I don't know. Either you're way. all right, John, because you're, you're, you're in the evening. Yeah. Mm. AD. Aidy is also <laughs> abroad. And that Harry, is, as my father would say, it's five o'clock somewhere. A oh, mantra that I live by. 7 p.m. here, so yay. Aidy says it's drinking time here in Lanzarote. Harry says someone get the cookies out. <laughs> oh, yeah. John Mayfield, did someone mention a ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> 
Is that sticking too, John? <laughs> uh, Morning, Mr. Mayfield. I'm sure AD's going to love that comment. Right, get some banners rolling. Which banner should we go for? Ooh. YouTubes. Ooh. YouTubes. No, YouTubes. Uh, <laughs> oh, YouTubes. <sighs> Let's go for that one. Sure. Sure. Scale modeling twins. Yes. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Right, let's start building because I'm itching to crack on with this whip it. I'll just yeah, you know, for, for you can the, get cream for that. For the uninitiated, I have I have a twin brother. Um just give me a sec, I'll bring up his photograph. I'm sure um, he'll love you for that. Well yeah, well you know. <laughs> <laughs> just show the world my photograph, you know. Yeah. Oh, says you've got to... Open your ears, Mikey. <laughs> There we go. So that's uh, it's, it's, it's him. Ugh. So he looks sort of similar to me. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And Gary's met him, or Gary's met him, so he knows it's, yeah. it's, it's actually a thing. So Paul's four yeah. minutes older, and he lives about a thousand kilometres away down in Melbourne. Or Maybe as they it's say it's in Australia, Australia round the corner. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Maybe heard, Mr. Mayfield. Yeah. It's, yeah. Don't, don't mention Open your ears, David. Yeah. Don't mention your ceilings going. around, AD. I am going slightly yeah. deaf, yes. I am going to adjust my camera onto the bench. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He no. 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 <laughs> That's what mine, too. Zoom it in a bit. Mine needs to focus. Oh, look at that. Three different color mats. Well, the show's oh, over. Yeah. See you next week, gentlemen. Yeah. Um, oh, no. You clashed him, Mikey, with my, with me. Hey, John, guess the spruce. Uh, <laughs> guess the spruce. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Let's chuck some glue Jake says, on Pops, you still, still stink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so where we finished up last week was uh, the end of step four. So going back, I'll just uh, hold that up there so we can sort of see. So the top of the fighting compartment is, um, you know, had been sort of glued together. So we're all up to step five now, which is fighting compartment onto the rest of the chassis. And then we start on the fuel tank at the front and um, all the Hotchkiss guns around, around the corner. So... Let's do that then. Yes, we shall. Right. Um, oh, you might as well put that there. Anybody got any questions? Yeah, Carrie, Carrie said... Uh... Dad, you managed to zoom. Wow. Yeah, I've been <laughs> having lessons in, in YouTubing. So I can so I can YouTube. Morning chunkies. I replied Please. you didn't see Kelly. that, Kerry. <laughs> chunkies. Good morning, Mr. Skelly. Hey, old Dave, lad. Oh, there's a party. Hey, boy, lovely boy. Yeah, Dave. Everyone knows a Dave, don't they? Uh, yeah, oh, I do. <laughs> Should I have to think for a moment? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Over on the Discord, we've got Comedy Dave, haven't we? The, uh, the Comedy Sniper. Sniper. The Sniper. Yeah. Sits there quietly listening to all the conversations, and then when you're least expecting it, throws There's a in ninja a one star on your back. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, throws in a one-liner when you're least expecting it. Hey, John's got the tune stuck in his head. <laughs> <laughs> How can I not? I can play it again if you want. I've been hmm. playing it all week. All my phone oh, yeah. to listen to it. No. Are you that bad at the computer? You can't turn it off. <laughs> I can put it back on if <laughs> yeah, <John>. probably. <laughs> Do people want to watch the uh, the intro right from the beginning? Let's have a see what the audience no. want to do. No, the audience don't want to do that. 
I can watch it right from the beginning can, if you want. I guarantee I know my audience. They don't want to see that. All right, Mr. Famous. You watch. <laughs> yes. Lobbies. Um, 25 years in show business. <laughs> oh, just a thought, Gary, before we get too deep into this, um, why don't you tell us about Friends of Models for Heroes? Friends of Models for Heroes. We are an IPMS registered online modeling firm. So everything we do, we do online using the uh, medium of Discord and uh, soon to be YouTube. Um, we have been going for just over a year. We're in our second year now. And uh, we are slowly building a number of uh, members uh, is building nicely. We're at about, we're at about 48, 50 members now. Um, they all pay £12 a year. That gives them access to the Discord and uh, more and more things will be coming online in this, our second year. Um, we're hoping to attend a few more shows than we did last year. We did um, Scale Model World at Telford. John, have you ever been to Telford? You know, I have. <laughs> it was, we it did... was, it was uh, wonderful. <laughs> we did Scale Model World at Telford in November and also the Avon um, modelling show last year. This year, um, we'll be doing those two again. And the week after, weekend after next, I shall be at the NEC for the new, brand new key key model world, key, key publishing um, model show, which is a, a, a mixed railway and scale modeling model show. What is uh, also NEC? Atten also attending yeah. that will be Mr. Mayfield, um, James Skiffins, and Steph Keefley. What NEC, about? National Exhibition Centre. Oh, okay. In Birmingham. In Birmingham. You never know. You just might by, see Aussie old on there. Just by Birmingham Airport. So that's Friends of Models for Heroes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a fun group. Um, don't take ourselves seriously. We're all vet. Well, there's a lot of veterans in there, so you don't have to be a veteran to join us. And uh, we support Models for Heroes, a fantastic charity set up by Mr. Malcolm Childs that provides model kits and equipment to veterans serving members of uh, the armed forces and to members of the blue light community. Has anyone um, else noticed? Well, Gary hasn't because he's been too busy talking. Well, you but... told me to talk. <laughs> You're <laughs> supposed to build at the same time, you goon. Have you noticed? That's multitasking. I'm a man. Yes. A big gap there. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the it's thing. Right. I've got exactly the same got gap. A, so I've got a yeah. big gap there. I've got a big gap <laughs> there. Yeah. So it's what basically I'm yours is ha hanging on by its fingernails, isn't it, Gary? <laughs> no, mine has just a lot of natural air conditioning. So <laughs> if the fighting compartment goes on to the rest of the chassis, I've got a big gap at the front there. Do you guys yeah. have exactly the same gap? Uh, it'll it sort of disappear. You line it up. Yeah. On that one no i haven't got that gap okay. because well, says, i've i've moved my gap somewhere else okay <laughs> um, rory says, yes, Hi, certainly don't... morning rory hello rory. Morning. yeah but uh, yeah that gap's the front like none of these uh killers a little bit of um you know putty yeah putty weather it cover <sighs> all the mistakes with weathering i got this one from ikea because it's a flat pack <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's here all week. Don't forget to tip your waitress. We're British. We don't do tipping, old boy. Yeah. Dum, da, dum, dum. Uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Yeah. Envy's been tipping oh, his waiters out here. Uh, it made one of the parts too small, isn't it? Um, you're talking about A17, that, that sloping bit on the top there? Yeah, they've literally made the part too small. I think so. Or it's the top you've part made the there. gap too big. No, if, if you look on this one here, <laughs> where you got the top hatch, the side yeah. piece that connects to it is wider than the, yeah. the top plate. 
and I've yet I've yet to do that 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 little bit. So we will. Uh... Well, I think yeah, we'll figure it out. It's it's quite large in that it stretches to both sides of the planet. <laughs> I could say something now, but I won't. Oh, I wish you would. Be careful, minion man. <laughs> <laughs> Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> um, B11 is oh, what? Uh, a handle? It's B11. Oh, I think I'm doing B11 now. Yes, I'm doing B11 now. I guess it's a, yeah, it's, it's a handle yes, it's, to it's, jump. It, to climb up, to so, get into the thing. Something yeah. to grab onto. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, stop messing about. <laughs> maybe those um, carry-on movies were the best thing uh, the British did for culture worldwide, I think, <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of weirdness going on in the world, and I think if we went back to the 60s and how everybody, you know, hated each other equally, I think it would be a better place. I don't know. Yeah. I do actually agree, though. No, I don't know if I do. Just, you know, I'm, I'm like most people, I'm a bit uh, saddened by stuff that's gone on in the world in the last week. But uh, moving on, we don't Squirrel. do politics here. We do models. Yeah. Don't harsh my buzz, man. Ooh, yeah, do we did top hatch open up. Bro. What's with the oh. negative waves? There's not much inside it, so I'm going to have mine closed, Ed. Because I believe mm. it'll be closed pretty much all the time, unless you. Yeah. It would be around. if I was in it. <laughs> it sounds like a terrible place to be, quite frankly. Yeah, hot, smelly, greasy, grimy. Yeah. I rewatched the. Um, it smells like Tank Museum. Bedroom, then. <laughs> oh! Rewatched the Tank Museum. Um, tank chats about it. it. Only goes for a few minutes, really, ten minutes or so. It's, that raised uh, really the question, good. Gary. That raised the question, Gary. What are you doing in your grandson's bedroom? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it's known as the Hobbit Hole. Um, <laughs> people have gone in there and never been seen again. <laughs> He's got his own fridge in there. What's wrong with that? I've got my own fridge in my room. Yeah, but it's not full of heads, though. Well, no. <laughs> where, he st <laughs> where, where, he, where he stores body parts. <laughs> Hot, smelly, grimy. What? You've been to Dad's man cave, then. <laughs> um, I have. I have the the the, um, the smell of eucalyptus oil from my burner over by the window. Not oh, WD forty then, like last week. Not W no, because the chair. It doesn't squeak anymore, thanks to Kerry. Doesn't squeak anymore. It's Kerry Ann. Wow. It's some maintenance on it for me. Yeah, she's a good egg. Yeah. Shh, don't tell her, don't tell her. Please don't tell her. She, she won't be watching this. Well, we've been putting up with that squeak for bloody months. I don't know what. Yeah. I think I've just fixed that gap at the front. Oh, yeah. Well, nobody sure. has offered to buy me a new chair, so you put up with it until you do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, what modelling topic of conversation shall we talk about today like we planned this <laughs> he says he stores spare necks in his fridge oh it's like um yeah he he needs them and kerry says i heard it i demand a raise <laughs> <sighs> he does need spare Sorry, necks. he has uh <laughs> He has actually got a broken neck, would you believe? Oh? Yeah, he broke his uh, broke his neck at school playing rugby. Oh, crikey. Um, and the, um, the part, the one that 
it, 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 it will always be broken, but it's not broken in the way that would cause him um, severe dis disability. He can you still walk. Then, you? Oh, I don't know what I was going to say, mate, to be honest. He can still <laughs> walk. He can still, but he does have mobility issues anyway with a, another issue that, a issue that he's got. But he, he won't want me talking about it, so I'll shut up now. Good idea. Right. Yeah, we're all hearing about that. I went full Steve Irwin. Oh, crikey. But, uh, <laughs> now I'll stop talking Strength. about that as well. Oh, it's like you saw a crocodile. Hey, <laughs> what's this about a crocodile in Bristol? I don't know. Probably, it must be uh, true. It name? must be Cal true. It was all over TikTok. It must be Carl Vorderman. <laughs> That'd be funny if you knew who that was. Carol Fordman. I do know who she is. Yeah. Tiff says, to. all good chairs squeak. It just shows they're well used, which in turn means lots of modelling. Thank you, Tiff. Or oh, it means there's a fat git sat on top of it. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I, says, I, I, go on. I saw something on TikTok today about a crocodile had been spotted in the um, docks at Bristol or something. The oh. Bristol Delta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jake says, great storytelling. Crocodile. I think he's talking about his... No, he put a crocodile at the end of it. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, so he did. That's what that is, is it? Yes. I thought I'd sneeze. Don't worry, Jake. I'm half your granddad's age. I, can, I, I get you, mate. Every time Jake's <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, you're only a couple months older than my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, but it's the amount of no, times you bring that up is dis disturbing. <laughs> yeah. It is disturbing. You tell the young people today that they wouldn't believe you. <laughs> I used to get up before I went to bed. <laughs> Work a 25-hour day. Oh! Bloody hell, I just threw that across the room. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. I don't think, you know... Um, I don't, the fact is, I don't know why I'm using this Tamiya White. The, the brush with it is, is awful. You know, it, the paint it's the same glue that's in that. I'll just use that. Well, the Tamir White, the paint, uh, the glue melts half the model off. Model off. Yeah. And and you lose your ability to speak. Apparently so. That's normally my job. See, this is why I have to do so much editing on my videos. <laughs> why I do voiceovers because I can just edit the voice then. That hatch doesn't go on very well, does it? No. Uh, no. I think it does okay. because it probably sits exactly like that on the on the actual thing. All oh, right. Yeah, could be. Just I think early, you know the, an early armored plate. vehicle. Well, I think it's a flat plate, uh, which it's is larger than the, the hole, so it's going to sit on the hole. You know, I think that's exactly that's what how she said. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> well, Tiffany, our wildlife expert, Tiffany, has uh, mentioned it's quite likely that there is a croc in Bristol. There was a lot. There's a large demand for uh, crocodiles on the black market as exotic pets. When they get too big to handle, they get rid of them. Yeah. And Columbus Models is there. Hello, Columbus. Hello, Columbus Models. He's oh, building this exact it. kit right now. Yes, that's I that's hope my you're friend having Cal more luck with it than we are. <laughs> that's Callum Parker, who uh, was the um, co host for oh, the 48 and 48 from Australia. Oh, I know. Oh, yes. Hi, Callum. Good day, Callum. And I saw you building that, and I was very surprised. And welcome. <laughs> 
He's going to see if I can stuff up two models. Don't on the forget, truck. people, like and subscribe. Yes. Go and subscribe to his channel. And his podcast is. And his podcast, and his Facebook page, <laughs> and his Instagram, <laughs> and his TikTok. <laughs> Believe it's a micro machine. Basically, machines just search Columbus models on all your oh, platforms. Micro <laughs> machines podcast, one that I listened to. Basically, search Columbus models on all the different social media platforms that you're on. And if you find him, like him and subscribe. Cool. Like and subscribe. All right. Now, I'm on. Yeah. Hmm. I'm on the um, the underneath. Or Pat, use the A5 technical and A10, term, yeah. The hull. The hull. Hmm. You all got that address, yes? Don't forget to go and check it out. There's some really good information and about Walls for Heroes on that website. Yes, please do. You can also donate, and they have an online shop where you can buy some different things, like T-shirts and things like that. And all, Even and... Models for Heroes decals or decals. Yes, there is. He's part put of the back world up, world. Hasn't he? I need to get some of them, actually. I have some because I did uh, I did the shelf of doom build for um, Telford last year, and uh, I did a Rubicon tiger tank in white, so it was a white tiger, and I covered it in <clears throat> um, Monster Heroes decals. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> Tiff says you need a mod to. Put links in the chat when needed. That's true. Probably do actually. So we can actually build the models whilst we're doing this. <clears throat> Who knows? Who knows? The early days. Early days. My darling well, wife literally... says, Hi, Oddie Man. Hi, Minion Man. And hello, Bearded Welshman. <laughs> <laughs> Minion Man. The lovely, lovely Kaylee. <laughs> Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, we're learning this as we go. So, um, Tiff says, Hey, Mrs. Vet. John Ma Mayfield says, Gary, have you missed part A15? Tiff comes all worried now. <laughs> 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 he's, he's, he's funny. He's funny. A15 doesn't come until step six. I'm on step five. <laughs> he's trying to wind me up because he knows that he's got to put up with me for a whole day at the NEC next next week. Columbus Moll says, thanks for the shout out, guys. I'm about to start snipping the tracks off the spruce. Oh, you're well ahead of us then, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. We're still trying um, to figure out how to, how to open the uh, instructions. <laughs> And Kay says, hi. Hi, darling. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. What, what? Ah, oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <I'm sure> that... <laughs> All this and impressions of it. I don't know. Tuesday. <laughs> Just calling Gary McGowan. <laughs> Jumanji. <laughs> so, well, these parts fit very well. Well, you know. What kit are you building? <laughs> so, Mr. Mayfield, our um. Armor expert, armor expert is watching is watching three three veterans murder a whippet. Hmm. 
Could be worse. Could be four. Yeah. That's what I'm drinking, by the way. Cooper's Original Pale Ale. Cooper's. God, you can buy that over here from if you make your own. Oh yeah. By the way, gents, um, you know when we finish the whip it, the next build we're doing, which I'm not going to say what it is because that's a surprise for the audience, but we've all spoken about it. Uh, Mick wants to join in, join the panel. Sure. So Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, yes, Mr. Mr. Happy. He's looking for Uncle it, Chuckles yeah. is more than yeah. welcome. I think that's what I said. It'd be nice to have him with us. I take it you're referring to um, the kit I thought I'd ordered, but I hadn't. Yes, <laughs> that's the one. I think tell, I think what's happened more. is you ordered it and Marion cancelled it. <laughs> <laughs> She's just too quick on the buttons for you. <laughs> She's got a system going now whereby I order something and it comes through. And she cancels it straight away. Yeah. <laughs> and then she just claims you have dementia. <laughs> um, that'll, that'll, um, that'll get a comment from Carrie Ann. <laughs> Don't confuse him too much. I have to go help. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, Kerry. Apparently, I'm giving the game away. <laughs> when I when I, when I have my um, second stroke, it affected my memory for quite a while. My yeah. short term memory would well, it completely mucked me up. I said mucked, um, <laughs> and because of the way my family operates, being really from a service background we deal with everything with humor mm -hmm. so that's why um jake always refers to me as dory from uh, finding nemo because yeah. the minute i get told something i immediately forget it however i can remember rubbish from years ago yeah well i, I think my 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 memory has got a little bit better. Well, you remember to turn up on a Thursday, so that's good. Well, I don't really, I can't really forget because I come out of my bedroom, walk across the landing, and I'm straight in the main cave. Do you leave notes on your door so you see it when you come out in the morning? Yeah. Ooh, some tension. In that. Some tension. Is there some tension in the room? No, some tension in the model if you if you uh, get into the right place. You've got to put a bit of tension on it to get it to sit in the right place for it whilst it sets. All right. Oh, I've done that bit. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Badly, for you. but I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> well, bully for you. <laughs> Uh, what I've found, Mikey, I can't show you now because I put the uh, bottom plate on, but um, where the fighting compartment meets the back of the hull, at the, at the rear there, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say it was misaligned, but it was a little bit too far forward. Once I, I shifted that back and put some glue on the inside of that seam there, mm -hmm. um, then the front married up a, a bit happier. So, Yeah, what he yeah. said. <laughs> yeah, what he said, yeah. That one. Yeah. Right, oh, governor. <laughs> All right. All right, Twiggle. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we got 10 people watching. You got nothing better to do, people? Well, you know. If you haven't said hello already, say hi and let us yeah. know who you are. If you're building a model or whatever, yeah, well, don't be shy. We don't God bite. Knows God knows, John isn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> if we have to tell him to put his underpants on, nothing before we came on here. 
<laughs> not wrong. Yeah. It was it was uh, scary. Having ten people watching. No, if the ladies and gentlemen you don't want to see that, John, <laughs> go and get dressed. Uh, yes. The people do not want to see your hairy nipple tassels. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <Yeah>. Your kangaroo <laughs> nipple tassels. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Made, made from the fur of the finest wallabies. Step six, attaching the fuel tank and the upper hull. Hmm. I'm just about to do that. I'm I'm keeping track with you this week, John. Mm. What are the odds? Maybe that's because I'm not running the the stream yard and hmm. what have you. Yeah, I suppose control. I was supposed to be, but I was poorly, so I banged out of that idea. You chickened out, really, didn't you? No, I didn't chicken out. I just really felt ill yet the last couple of days. But hmm. I think I've worked out why we've just had, why we have ten people watching. Only the prison wardens are allowed to touch the controls. <laughs> <laughs> Karen says, "Hi, enjoying the stream." Hello, Karen. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining. Glad you're enjoying it. We've just lost three people since we mentioned John in his underpants. <laughs> <sighs> well, what can you do? See, the people don't want that image. Oh, we've got a Ben stuff again. Tell you what, I think it's easier if I use the front of the, the sanding stick instead of the back of it. It might, might have more use. There we go. Sure. It works better. A bit with actual sandpaper on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, was, yeah I was wondering why it was so quiet. <laughs> mm. John, have you filled in that gap at the top of the fighting compartment yet? Uh, you're talking about this one up here? Yes. Because you nope. put the bottom on, so you can't get to the inside of it. Yeah. Uh, well, no. I'm, I just plan to put a smear of filler on there. Yeah. yeah that's what, that's what I was going to do. Like, I've done exactly the same. The yeah. 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 I put the bottom on, and I've got that same gap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put Me? a bit of filler on the inside, so that I don't have to sand it down as much. Yeah. You mentioned last week painting the inside. I'm not going to paint the inside. You can't see it. I don't yeah. want to leave a hatch open. There's nothing inside. You'll oh, be you, saying think... things like you don't paint the underside of a tank next. <laughs> I think the, um, down with the childs. <laughs> if they come out with a uh, full interior kit of one of these, oh, I think I'd get one. I think it's an interesting subject. Tack on. Oh, they do one, do they? I think so. Oh. Oh, Mr. Mayfield would know. Mr. Tack would know. Or has he gone because of the thought of John's nipple tassels? Uh, possibly. The thought of John in his uh, finest wallaby nipple tassels. <laughs> yes. Even Bron switched off for that one. <laughs> I can hear a throwing up in the in the house just now. <laughs> oh, poor John. <laughs> Does Brom watch any of your lives? <laughs> oh, you're a funny guy. <laughs> I like you. I kill you last. <laughs> I think that covered yeah. that. <laughs> it's an extraordinary waste of time. No, no, no she does not. A eight, a seven. It is a waste of time, but it's a good waste of time. Yeah. It's a productive waste of time. God, I still got the tune in my head. <laughs> Today's earworm is brought to you by Three Men Tackle a Whipping. <laughs> 
I was told once that the way to get rid of an earworm is to sing God Save the Queen slash King. Um, God Save the Queen slash King. But God yeah, but the deal is, I mean, I don't know all the lyrics. King. So I just sort of to do the, I, the, just the tune in my head. And because the cadence is so slow, it's, it works. It does get rid of any earworm. But, um, you know. You should try singing the Welsh National Anthem. You need half a pint of phlegm. Yeah. And then a good litre of water to restock. Yeah. Oh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, so that's a... Eight, a seven. D7. Right. D7. Right. So we've got to fold this stuff again. Yes. I don't like it. I don't no, like it. So D7, that's weird. Do -do. Oh, there's two Ds. That's why. Okay. D D. Double D. Ooh. Now I was thinking double diamond. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, we don't need to know about your nipple tassels. <laughs> Have you not seen them, Jakey? See, for twelve pound a month, you could get all this all the time on models. Friends of models for here. Right? Yes, but <laughs> Jake's comment says otherwise. <laughs> it's our committee to there you go. tonight. I've got I've got a maybe getting told off. Um, been, oh, okay. I've done the filler right. from the inside. So now, it, I'll focus your stupid twit. So that's Temia putty? So it looks more like a seam. Like a welded seam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That yeah. makes sense. So you're not having to, you know, try and sand around all the rivets and things. Rivet, rivet. We're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> oh, wow. We just <laughs> shot up to 12 people. Welcome to 12 people. See, John, you thought nobody would want to watch. You two new, pe you two new people that have joined the stream. We don't know yes. who you are. We don't know where you are. But we have a particular set of skills. <laughs> if you're new, don't forget to say hi, like, comment, and subscribe. We do have three channels. Obviously, Jan Bearded Veteran well, Crates. Two and a half. Yeah. We have Bearded Veteran Crates, which is mine. Then we have Friends and Models of Heroes, which is Gary's. And you have Scale Modeling Twins, which is John's. Yeah. It's not strictly my channel. I run it on behalf of Friends of Models for Heroes. Of course. So. Well, yes, but that's just being pedantic. As we have a committee meeting tonight, that may all change tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it may well do. <laughs> and he was never seen or heard of again. <laughs> and never again did he appear on YouTube. Back as a thief, his alter ego, the masked modeler. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, my channel's Roy. brand new. I've only uploaded one um, short. Roy um, says nipple decorations that swing about are called pasties. Are they? Yeah, apparently so. Hmm. Hey? So, you've got. So, people are walking around with a couple of Cornish delicacies hanging from the <laughs> chest. <laughs> oh, I love Cornish pasties. <laughs> okay. They're delicious. Have a float your boat. The stream has seven likes at the minute. Is that all? Come on, there's 12 of you. Oh, right, no, hang on. Me, you and John, we haven't liked it yet. So let's take oh, well, two. well, there we go. Yeah, but hang on. We're, we're not included in the viewer numbers, you know. No, are we not? No, bronze not watching. No. Out. 
That's why when John Marion's does his other lives, sometimes they have zero view, zero people watching. All right. Marion's not watching because she's walking the dog. The dog. The dog. Not a dog, the dog. The dog, the one that is not here at the moment. Can't you tell by the quietness? I don't know if uh, Kaylee's still watching. I can't hear in the other room. If she is, I'm sure she'll let us know. I'm about to do part A15. Ah, uh, yeah. John. Mm. John uh, Mayfield. Mayfield. Yeah. He's still watching. Come on, line up. I know he was worried about part A15. I've nearly got an empty sprue. I've nearly got an empty sprue. There we go. <laughs> this should be interesting. Tiff says, nope, Rory, you're wrong. Nipple tassels are the ones that swing. Pasties, <laughs> pronounced pasties. Uh, just to cover the nipple as a type of plaster. There you go. There you go, Rory. Argue with that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What this could be created? fun. <laughs> what have we created? <laughs> We're arguing over breast decorations on YouTube. Oh dear. Right. Oh, I somehow got a feeling. That tonight's no, I said night. I thought tonight committee's meeting might be a short one. Hmm. Yeah. I've got a distinct feeling it's going to be a long one now. Right. That's what she said. And what makes you think that, Mr. Morris? i just got this feeling in my bones. Oh, there's a storm coming, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> Jake says, this is so educational. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jake, <laughs> I thought they're supposed to teach you this sort of stuff in school. <laughs> He's homeschooled. <laughs> He's homeschooled. Wow. Ah, wow. Well, they did. They taught us this kind of stuff in school. <laughs> That's why we all ended up uh, parents in our mm. teens. <laughs> wow. of, right. of his, of his, Because of his neck problem, he's homeschooled. Yeah, okay. fair enough. Tish says, I have a tattoo artist friend and he has a bunch of pasties to cover up when ladies get underbust tattoos or need their boobs out for a tattoo. Oh, okay. Oh, bless. I thought she was going to say that he had pasties for himself then. <laughs> Roy says, I stand corrected, said the man in a built-up shoe every day in the school day. <laughs> Indeed. I suppose we do that. Say hello to Gary T, who's normally here supporting us. Oh, yeah, he's at the dentist. Yeah, he's at the dentist appointment, so we said we'd give him a shout-out. So, hello, Gary. Yeah, hello, Gary. Hope you're... Uh... Not uh, not suffering too much in the the old uh, chair of despair. Yes. But nobody telling when the shout out is because you want me to watch the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> and the other the other shout out we've got to give is to uh, someone who's doing a very big favour for us, um, and he's actually bringing the sun back from Lanzarote. Oh yeah. He's, our AD. Our AD. Getting on a plane to come home today after a week in the sun. Is he getting on a jet plane? Yeah. And can I just say, he went to Lanzarote and uh, he's been on Discord every day via his phone. He with has. Up weather, with weather updates. <clears throat> you might need to have a conversation with your grandson there, Gary. <laughs> I would like, like to return, return to, to the, the boob conversation, conversation please. <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of your mother and grandfather. <laughs> uh, well, put it like this: his mother is closer to him 
<laughs> and I think that's a discussion for him and his dad. Yes. No, they have they have, they have weird discussions anyway. Um, I'm, forget I even said mentioned your dad then, mate, because the conversations you two have scare me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, technology scares you. The mobile phone is something that happened to other people. There's nothing wrong with my mobile phone. I've got a <laughs> cracked screen. It's only been cracked. Where are we? Oh, see what I mean by technology? It's only been cracked for <laughs> two or three years. Still right. works. <laughs> I just love the I'm fact sure. that Jake said, can we return to the boob conversation, please? <laughs> That's tickled me. <laughs> Don't talk about tickling boobs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Steady, Gary, you'll get all excited. Your heart can't take that sort of excitement anymore. My heart's <laughs> all right. So you think. So you it's, my, it's, my, it's my head that's... It's all connected. <laughs> Where do you think the clocks and strokes, the strokes come from? Stroke shop. They're all part of the circulatory system. They come from the stroke shop. <laughs> they come from watching too many dirty videos. <laughs> I'm not even going to answer that comment. Right. <laughs> Columbus models put would certainly perk up the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> And we Katie's are to the room. I'm learning so loud. much. Going to grab a notepad and pen. <laughs> Kay's put boobs out oh. loud. <laughs> oh, that's it. Well, like everyone else, I'll come here for the comments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jake, we're allowed oh, to tickle them. I'm learning so much. <laughs> <laughs> Only with permission, Jake. Uh. I am. We are going to get so. Don't just, don't just walk tomorrow, up to random right. women and start tickling their boobs. That's not right. <laughs> just because you're saying tickle, tickle, tickle at the time. Cheryl! Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, damn it. Well, you killed the conversation, didn't you, Git? <laughs> I'm just thinking, because last week... the only um, YouTube channel with a safe word. I know, because <laughs> yeah, last week we had a, a safe word with um, Spitfire. Now we're, we're talking about nipple tassels. <laughs> you know, how quickly we've sort of descended. <laughs> well, it's never going to last, was it? <laughs> <laughs> we're lucky we, um, we didn't get banned in the first hour. Mm. <laughs> Well, there's still time. There's six minutes to the first hour. Oh, already? All right, timekeeper. <laughs> I'm not a timekeeper. Mr. Clockwatcher. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I nearly swore then. I nearly, nearly said a naughty word. <laughs> Your son in law's back. If you think the boob conversation is one that he needs to have a talk to, you ask the lady at the. Hear what he asked the lady for at the arcade yesterday. Oh, dear. Ooh, <laughs> now I'm interested. Well, can I tell you? I'll tell you a story about RJ. He, um, this is pre um, neck incident. Um, in his old house, he used to have quite a large garden, and uh, he had a zip line in there that they they made up for him. And um, to get to get to use this zip line, he used to climb up a set a set of ladders, that was, mm. uh, and uh, into the apple tree, and then um, go down the zip line to the bottom of the garden. 
where he had a little military base set up that my my son had made for him. Um, oh. And um, it's obviously he, uh, you didn't give him the funds, did you? <laughs> I gave him the satellite dish for his shed, so it looked like he had a, a, a you know a communication yeah, center. Control tower. Yeah, traffic control tower, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, he was uh, he was going going to go up the uh, he got up the ladder one day to uh, go down the zip line and fell off oh. onto and damaged his his back on on uh, an apple. He fell onto an apple. Oh, okay. Up, and it really hurt his back, so they called the ambulance. And he's only about seven or eight then, I would have thought. And these two ambulance ladies turned up, and uh, he's he's trying to get off with one. <laughs> <laughs> he's Good winking luck. at her. He's winking at her, and I believe it. <laughs> so God knows what he asked the lady in the arcade for yesterday. <laughs> They went to a. They took him to um, um, an indoor golf thing. Ah oh, yes. It's got. I think it's called Put Put Noodle or something. Don't tell me he smacked a woman's ass and said hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that when they when they went for a drink afterwards in 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 the cafe there, um, he asked for a sticky hand. Right. And when they, when they went for um, a drink afterwards, um, it was served to them by a robot, which apparently freaked Mr. Cliff, Paul there, out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Coming from an ignorant Australian, what is a sticky hand? Is that a, a cocktail? A drink? Well, I don't know. I don't think I want to know. Okay. <laughs> Apart from the obvious. But, uh, yeah. It's a rubber rubber hand that can stick to walls. <laughs> oh, there's a much better way of doing that. <laughs> Now you know. There you go. That is a problem. If you take my grandson anywhere, you never know what he's going to say to people. Not wrong with that. Because he has no filter. Just shows he's got a good sense of humour. Mm. Oh, he's got the best sense of humour ever. You're doing his ego wonders today, Gary. No, he's... he's... He's a good lad. Wonderful. I know I'm biased. Okay. <laughs> now. Yeah, I'll be biased when it's your grandkids. You know they say when you your grandkids, you can, you, can, you can wind them up and it's the other way Thank in our you. house. He comes yeah. around them. You can wind them up and then send them home. <laughs> yeah, well, in our house. What have I done here? It's the opposite way, opposite way in our house because our kids, my kids, my stepkids live with their grandparents. So we wind them up and send them back to their grandparents. <laughs> Good effort. Mm. I somehow don't think that should have been as hard as it was. I think I made that more difficult than I should have done. Yeah. Okay, A15. So, A what, what are A15? I've, John I've done A15. A15 so is this bit, this bit, John. Yeah, the, the bit that sticks out beside the fuel the tank. Stick, but sticky out they, bit. They do. Are they... They stick out. They would be. They're for the front idle wheels. That aren't there, I guess. They're for the front wheels, John. 
a legend. Okay. Or, oh no, I know what they are. Um, you see the bits that stick out at the top of the back? Mm. Right. Between them, they they used to sling a big, they used to put a big canvas sling in between the two. Ah, to stop mud spraying up everywhere? Yeah, to act as a makeshift mud guard. There you go. You know stuff. Is that in the book you have? Uh, Yes, it is. Wonderful. And that's why I buy these books, so I can read and learn. You know what? I couldn't have put that upside down. But they don't include that canvas belt sort of sling oh. in, in the kit. So okay. it's so, a feature oh, yeah. you can have. Put Tissue paper down. and um, PVA okay. glue. Yeah. Here's the thing. This is a fuel tank at the front. And there's, a, I guess, a filler cap on top there, right? Yeah, and then you've got these canvas sort of like um, guides, so yep. the A14, A15 that go there. And they go on to these little sort of like, I guess, holes, the you know, uh, empty rivet holes on that yes. bit. Well, as it turns out, I've put mine upside down. I've got the fuel camp on top, which is correct, but I've got these sidewalls the wrong way around. And I've got the oh. um, the empty rivets on the bottom. So I'm going to have to change that. That's the only problem. There's no real telling which one is A8, A7. A, a I've clearly got them wrong. Jakey, it's from the First World War, and they were used during 1918. Here. Um, pop. There we go. Take two. Oh, God, I've glued this very well. because This is why it's important to do these sort of history models and history videos and stuff, so the youngsters can learn about because they're not learning that much about them these days in schools and things. No. See, this is I educational... This is educational, Jake. So yeah. there will be a test later. Yeah. Okay. I'm discombobulating the whole thing. What have you done wrong then, John? Well, I did the side you bits of the, the fuel tank. On the wrong a, upside yeah, down. A7, A8, I've reversed. So the two bits of the, um, the fuel tank, the side walls are backwards. Ah. <sighs> So, so is mine right then? Yes, it really depends. All oh, right, mine's right. I've done something right. Okay, Jakey, quick history lesson for you. So, like I said, this from this model is based on the Whippet from the First World War. The reason it's called the Whippet was because it is the medium tank for the British Army. And the heavy tank was the Mark IV or the, more, the Mark Vs, but they only moved at four miles an hour, whereas these ones, these moved at eight miles an hour around the battlefield. So whilst the infantry were staying with the heavy tanks and moving forwards, these were able to exploit openings and sort of whip round and you know take out prisoners and exploit openings in the, uh, in the uh, defensive lines and things. And that's why it's called a whippet, it, because it was faster than... The other vehicles on the battlefield. Hmm. And eight mile an hour doesn't sound fast, but it was then. Well, you think well, about it, four miles an hour makes sense for a tank because it's supposed to, you have to have infantry with a tank. Yeah, and the infantry can only move at four miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So you ripped off the side walls, reversed them. So now I've got the two empty rivet holes on the top side where the fuel cap is. So, yes. Trip for young players. Well, I lost. Old, it old makes players. sense. Well, if you've got any more stuff. questions like that, Jake, throw them our way. We're more than happy to yeah. get Mikey to answer them for you. <laughs> <laughs> and in the tank chat, um, they were saying that this was uh, originally thought of uh, support, whereas you know the other one would be with infantry, as you say. This would be with cavalry, but um, as a, it just turned out, you know, these I guess could move faster than horses could in the mud and all the other crap that was around there. So um, I think they mentioned in the, the video what they didn't realise at the time, of course, and what we could see in retrospect is these were the new cavalry, yes, yeah, um, to be replaced by helicopters in the Vietnam War. Yeah, well, well, yes and no, because you think about it, they had, they still had armour in Vietnam, so they had 
the heavy tank main battle tanks. But they also yeah, have um, armor personnel carriers and things like that. And yeah. uh, scout scout cars and things. Mm. So they still had small armored vehicles that were designed to sort of nip around quickly and uh, test the a lot of it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it's reconnaissance work. Um, you know, so they could get in, get, get in and out of somewhere quickly and then defend themselves if they need to. Exactly. Well, Ideally, they didn't. Want, they don't want to be seen, but a uh, bit difficult in the First World War because um, things were um, oh, still being developed as as mm. they are nowadays. But it's good to learn. Mm. I know. A, I know a little more about D Day as I've done a, the D Day beaches tour in France. Yeah, he did. He, he went to France on his dad's motorbike, oh. and they did. Did he get um, weird on the way over? Oh, they evil can evil it off the <laughs> off the, off the cliffs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the quick did a quick stop for fuel at the Isle of Wight, and then evil can evil it over. The, um, <laughs> Bunny hopped. <laughs> so they did. They did beaches. They did the museums, and they even went to um, the Pegasus Bridge Cafe mm. um, and met the granddaughter of the woman that run it on ran it on D Day. She they still own. Pegasus Bridge Cafe. No, he, he really enjoyed that. And he was going to Belgium around about now, but um, his dad's moving house, so uh, they've had to delay that. Yeah. Well, I'm always happy to discuss history. Always. In fact, that's a lot of what my channel and my social media pages are about. History and scale modeling. A lot of history and scale modeling. Um, In fact, I, I put posts up specifically about historical figures that people don't really know about, usually from the First World War. There you go, Jakey. You have to go on Bearded Veteran Creates. When was the last one I did? Um, um, on the other day. I think it was last Sunday. Have a look. All right, did the update on Ping Pong. But uh, the last history one I did was about Major General Sir Fabian Arthur Goldston Ware, who was a teacher, an educator, who ended up becoming a Major General and founding the Imperial War Graves Commission. Oh, okay. Very worthwhile. Oh, you see. Yeah. Uh, Brian has mentioned a couple of times that um, I think she would, sounds like she's mentioned it over the many years, that she would want me buried in a... Or later Shallow grave? grave. So, <laughs> in, 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 in a... In a um, <laughs> You know, you know, a war cemetery, but um, she hasn't mentioned when, and that's the only concern I have. Is... <laughs> uh, Mr. Skelly says, History, you say, there's no future in that. That joke of the day. <laughs> dum, dum, <tsh. laughs> well done, Mr. Skelly. Did you know that in the UK, anyone who has served uh, on operations or whatever, or is serving veteran, uh, serving forces, is entitled to a bugler to attend their funeral? Yes. Well, I didn't know that, but it's the same in Australia. I believe the war graves uh, thing is all uh, Commonwealth, so it would be exactly the same, no matter where you are. Same type of headstone. Well, yeah, it's in Commonwealth war graves, isn't it? Yes. A question from uh, Paul. How many yeah. was a tank crew for a whippet, and what type of armament did they have? They had Ooh, three. Can I answer that? Go on, then. They had three uh, people, a driver, a gunner, and a commander, I guess you would say. Would, would that be the right term, Mikey? Yep. 
and um, yeah, these had two engines, so two uh, engines under that panel there. So the the front is the pointy bit where the fuel tank is. <clears throat> two engines from a London bus there, and uh, the driver sitting back here had to he had two clutches. So the two engines he had to. Um, they say that if you're good at juggling, you'd be able to drive this, but it would be quite awful to drive each track is a different drive train and everything else they did have a limited of depth as they would do both <clears throat> the armament i believe was 20 mil it was the hotchkiss machine guns oh armor i thought you were talking about the thickness of the armor yeah no, the, armor, the actual armor, armor, armor mill, which part of, which part of the vehicle it was it's just machine yeah. guns wasn't it armor it armor. was Three yeah, machine guns. Just four Hotchkiss machine guns. Oh, four, sorry, yeah. One forward, left, right, rear. And, um, yeah. The, yeah, it'd be the one guy jumping around. Um, I think the third guy was just found to be in the way. So they had um, two people later on, and um, the commander was just jumping from one to the other because most of the shooting was only out. The action was out one side, they found. So they just adapted. Well, the fume, apparently the fumes from the engines and stuff were that bad. So what they used to do is if they weren't actually in, in under fire, was they'd actually drive with the back door open, mm. and everyone except the driver would sort of stand in the back door. Yeah, must be terrible. And they would alternate um, teams. So instead of having three people in it, they'd have two. Um, and the third crew member would uh, generally have a day off. Yeah. These this would go out and come back the next day, and you have a new crew drive it because the other guys were recovering, trying to get their breath back from. Well, carbon monoxide. It spot, sounds... spot the teenager. <laughs> sounds quite terrible, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Jake, he's my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. like, it's a, um, you know, um, it sounds like an awful place to be, but as, as they say, like, it's better than being on the outside of it. Yeah. Better than being on the horse. Is, um, the one that was the one that's in Bovington mm. is uh, I think it's the Battle of Cambrai where um, it broke through the enemy lines and the crew just went nuts basically and they spent like two three hours just driving up and down the German lines just machine gunning everyone because yeah. they couldn't the Germans couldn't stop them and in the end the the engine caught fire or there's fire in the compartments. And um, they sort of bailed out, and all the Germans started beating them up, and this officer went, "No, no, no! These these guys have been incredibly, incredibly brave. Yeah, and yeah, what they've done is, you know, astounding. So just leave them alone. We'll take them prisoner." Is that right? And, yeah. And then the day after the battle, the uh, when the British uh, sort of so, uh, caught up, they uh, they found the tank and brought it back. The whip it. Wow. Now the. The the machine guns go in from the outside, don't they? Apparently so, yeah. I'm considering not putting them on yet. Okay. Because you'll break them off? I will break them off. Hmm. And they'll be bugger to spray them. Yeah. So I'm thinking on stage six, I'm going to skip putting the guns in position yeah because once you paint if you paint them with them on then well that's it you can, you can have to, it's going to be all right you know what ache Aye. you've mentioned boobs let's mention ass <laughs> we won't mention balls well you know if you've got any questions about balls. <laughs> famous last words Remember, gentlemen, check your balls. Hmm. Don't get caught out. Right. Yeah, I think I'm going to make an executive decision all by myself. Right. Without the aid of a safety net, I'm not putting the guns on yet. Getting brave, aren't you? I also think um, when it comes to um, the markings, they're very, very close to the gun ports, certainly on the 
on the side there. So I think it would make sense if mm. you didn't have the guns fitted. It'd be easier to put masks on. Yeah. So yeah. so that's the other development, um, gentle audience. Is uh, today I purchased from a store in Australia, B and A Hobbies, I think B and A Models, um, a yeah. set of B and B and A. BNA. Oh, okay. <laughs> you BNA. ordered some people <laughs> So I've ordered some, um, yeah, some some um, aftermarket. I think DN. I have to look it up. <laughs> I haven't got my bloody device here. My phone. You ordered some um, masks. Some masks. So I only need one set. So what I'm going to do is send the other two sets. So the other two markings to my friends here. Gary and Mikey, and we could all just sort of share in the love and stuff like that because, um, you know, otherwise I'll just have like six other tank markings that I just don't need. B and A. It's nothing to do with the fact you like us. <laughs> no, B&A nothing model. to do with that at all. <laughs> it's on the way from the warehouse. Check your order. Let's have a look at this. Um, God. I was going to say, you could look at all the. Um, um, You know what? That's not gonna. Just gonna look it up. Yeah, dnmodels.com, I think is it. Anyway, so literally that. So do 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 do. Uh, whip it medium tank mark A insignia and crosses paint mask. Uh, oh, with some seat belts for a chipmunk because you know there's only one in stock, so I got that as well. So yes, <laughs> they should arrive in the next couple of days, and once they come to me, then I'm gonna take what I need and forward the other ones to Mikey and 80 because, you know, oh, just to, just to annoy Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 80 always gets all my post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gary, have you pooped recently? <laughs> what? Are you Why sounding my... a bit constipated, are you, Gary? Why is my daughter asking me those questions? Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, it Why didn't happen if it's not live on YouTube. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> D21. What's D21? It's, it's a very, out. very tiny and... Uh, oh, God, that is know. small. So there's only, Wait. what, there's four of them? Apparently there's four of them. Okay, there's two on each D sprue at the outer corners. Okay. What's well, up, the well, machine you know, gun? I'm going to be breaking them off. They look like the grab handles of grab some handles sort. to open the engine covers. Oh yeah, yeah. B twenty one. Yeah, I'll break them off. Yeah, I'm going to do oh, a Gary and um, leave the guns off myself. Put them on after masking. Deco- oh well, yeah, decal replacements. Oh, so here's the other thing. So looking at the marking, so. Um, Mikey was he had chosen to do Caesar two. Yeah. Now is this sorry? This is the one that uh, is in Bovington. Yes, the one with the VC, the posthumous VC. No, uh, the one it's in Bovington is Music Box. Music Box. Right. So anyway, you had chosen Caesar two. It could be Caesar two. Gary had chosen um, Firefly. Firefly. Right, and uh, I wanted to do um, Go Like Gel. Just hmm. because I think I like the name. As it turns out, it's got markings like this as the um, you know the uh, recognition for aircraft and you know, friendly fire and all that sort of stuff. The red and white. But uh, go Caesar like L. It is. Yes, it is Caesar two that's in Bobby. Hmm. So according cool. to this is a men kit. I had a look at the TACOM instructions. Go like L, which will be just the, the decal on the um, fuel tank at the front there. Mm-hmm. Is neither here nor there. But what I didn't realise is the one that I had chosen, all the bonnet, the whole sort of like V area where the top of the engine covers is uh, red and white as well. And I don't know if I really like that. I think I might... Yeah, I'll do it anyway, just because... Well, that, that's that's how it was. <laughs> but it'd be different. It'd look different to yours. Do you want me to have a look in the book, see what the colour scheme was on it? Because well, there might have... be a photo of it in there. Yeah, well, yeah, if you don't mind. That'd be nice. There's a photo of, I'll stick this bit in and I'll have a quick look. Right. So, stick it in. I know there's a photo of Caesar 2 in there. Yeah. When it was actually running. 
Okay. Back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. When I was a lad. During the war. Tired of the city. So the song in my head is April Sun in Cuba by the Dragons. You've never heard of it, being English, have you? Or Welsh. Are you saying Welshmen have never heard of dragons? <laughs> I see a point. Yes. No, the band Dragon. No, I like Imagine Dragons. Very good. Mm. Oh, now you're talking, Jake's, uh, Jake likes Imagine Dragons. I can play one of those songs on guitar. Good. And I don't have to. No, I, yeah, they are good. My um, my daughters have played me that occasionally in the broom broom. So have a look. They do music to murder wallabies too. <laughs> Lullabies for wallabies. <laughs> nice. What's yours called, John? Go like gel. Go like gel. Now, bear in mind, like I said, they were used in, first used in 1918, so they would have had the red and white stripes on the sponsors. Mm. Um, but I can't imagine many of them having the red and white on top of the engine covers. Yeah, I think it was done by... Because I just did a Google switch. They, I think they, it came up with a lot of them had them on the fuel tanks as well. Musical box didn't have them. Neither P. Clara. Yeah. What's the um, vehicle number for it? Well, I'll tell you what, it'll be quicker if I just Morning, show you this one. So that that's um, by Brett, Brett Green. So I believe that's an attack on instructions. Okay. But it's a bit you know, as I say, it's a bit too much white and red. <laughs> yeah. I, I certainly won't be able to do it anywhere near. There you go, some tech specs for the Whippet. Oh, yes. The crew three, weight 14 ton, power to weight ratio 6, 6.43 to 1, overall length 20 feet, overall width 8 foot 7, overall height 9 foot, engines two, Tyler four cylinder 45 horsepower water cooled petrol revving at 1250 RPM. Transmission, cone clutch to four speed and reverse gearbox to worm reduction and bevel drive, chain loop to drive sprocket, one for each track. Fuel capacity 70 gallons, maximum speed 8.3 miles per hour. Mm. Radius of act action 80 miles. Oh, that's a fair way, isn't it? It is for World War One tank, yeah. Ground pressure 15.8 pounds per square inch. Trench crossing ability, 8 foot 6 inches. They could cross. Mm. Armament, 4 Hotchkiss, 0.303 inch air-cooled machine guns. And it's carried uh, 5,400 rounds of ammunition. Wow, that's a, that's a lot. Mm. Yeah, wow. I'm also, John, not going to put on that exhaust. No? No. I'll put that on. Oh, Jim. So are you, are you putting Jim. on the, the D21s? The, the grab I've, just the the D, I've just put the D21s on. They're okay. on. But the guns and B17, yep. I'm going to put on after I've painted the main body of the tank. Sure. I'll paint I'll paint them separately and then put them on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to um, I'm going to put the exhaust on because I, I won't break it off. And I'll just paint it later after, after all the green and everything else. I'll just go... You know, rust. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm I'm going to follow your lead with the guns, but um, every all the other accoutrement, I believe I'll go for. Accoutrement. Okay, yes. so I found one that had the red and white on top of the engine covers, but yeah. that was Love Child from South Russian Tanks Detachment, which wasn't formed till after the armistice. There you go. Which is Ooh. that one at the bottom? Oh, nice. Uh, Jay, uh, so, Jim's in. 
says, morning, gents. Haven't heard of Dragon except model kits. Yeah. Uh, Jake says, imagine Dragons are good. I like them. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Jim says, many years back, a friend had a whippet dog. She was a rocket-powered pooch. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Built for speed. Hello, there Jim. What is the um, the temperature right now in Chicago? Ooh. In oh, if, you, if you can also convert it to Celsius for it, that'd be great. <laughs> Wind much there. Of the city life. <clears throat> yeah, so as I say, like, you know, um, yeah, so the, the marking I was going to go for was Gulai Gel, just because I, I like the the slang, I think, is of its time, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I think, you know, I might as well just copy what, what Brett Green has done there, uh, just to make it look a bit different. Um, aerial recognition, I think. Why not? But you know, as I said, like you know, if I didn't, yeah, I'll, I'll just go by. Yeah, you know, not it's a men kit, but I'll go by the TACOM instructions because apparently that marking's in the TACOM kit. So to remind myself, I've mm. on the instructions I have circled all the bits I haven't put on yet in green, and they will. Um, I will go back to them when it's. Uh, it's wrong. Okay. Oh. This grab handle so small. I'm having a bit of trouble seeing it. That's put on the um, magnifying loops. Mind you, I have to pretty much do everything with them on these days. Oh, I'm on to wheel to... assembly now. Oh, oh that's really good. Really good. How are we doing for time? Half an hour to go. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, John and Gary, and of course, Mike. Currently 6 degrees C at 5.30 a.m. Oh, my God. We had oh, a frost fair. here this morning. We had a frost here this morning. Did you? Yes. Well, wow, bloody hell. <laughs> ten. I've got to make ten Not return the rollers. Not taking the piss. You understand. I've got to make ten return rollers, eighteen road wheel A's, and eight, fourteen road wheel B's. Oh dear! Mm. How sad. Never mind. Oh dear! Oh shy. Never mind. Lovely boy. Hmm. Now. What am I going to tell them apart if I make them all up now? Which ones? The wheels? A's and B's yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, the A's and B's. Are they going to look... For... Mm. They look very different, though. Do they look very different? Though? That's the point. They're different sizes. Some are idlers and some are... Don't forget, some of them got its, its suspension attached as well. Well, the bees have a, <clears throat> a raised edge on the inside of each road wheel. Yeah, so they, they'd be the guide guide wheels. Hmm. Uh, Duke Wellington says, "Good day from us, guys." Oh, hello, Good day, Duke. Mate. From uh, Duke. I'm trying to remember, Central Victoria from memory. If memory serves him correctly. I hit no, I wouldn't. Which is a, a big ask. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not sure. Jim says he's currently building building a Tiger One that has a total of thirty two road wheels. Yeah. Yeah, German tanks are brilliant, aren't they? The wheels. Mm. <laughs> I built a panther, and that was enough. I have got a tiger to build, though, at some point. I tell you what I have got. I've got the A7V. That's got oh, a yeah. lot of wheels. Yes. <laughs> They're all hidden, though, aren't they? 
Uh, no, stick out the bottom. Do they? Yeah. Apparently you were correct, John. Well remembered. Oh. Talking about Bendigo or Shepparton or somewhere else. So, I got um, oh, a parcel from the other day. I can't remember what it was. I think it's some... Oh, uh, the most Australian 3D printed soldiers from a Vietnam build. Oh, okay. And I thought, oh, what the hell is this? And I looked at the label and it said, Coles on it, uh, Australia. <laughs> it, it just sounds like a proper Australian town, doesn't it? So, where? Colesville. Colesville. Mm. I don't know what that is. It just reminded me of Townsville. <laughs> There's a Colesville in Leicester. Is there? Well, it's Colville, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, mate, mine used to live in Townsville. Sorry to hear that. That's where your daughter goes to. Yes, uni, my daughter it? lives there. I forgot. I have a daughter. Yes, she goes there. She lives there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Young and wild and free. Well, she's wonderful. Um, yeah, Not she's studying marine like biology at, at the world's largest um, sort of like reef. So, good place for it, really. Yeah. Marching with a slouch heart SLR in greens. Yeah. God help That's me. where I always remember the Townsville from. Towns all along the footpath as we march down to the keys. Yeah. yeah. Shepparton, John. Shepparton. Very good. I'm I'm from Dandenong originally. Mr. Duke, so there you go. I thought you were from Mars. Well, I might as well be. <laughs> That's what Bron keeps telling us anyway. <laughs> oh, talking of Mars, John, I see For All Mankind's been renewed for another another season. Has it? Oh, wonderful. I, yes. I, I still haven't finished season four yet. Um, I've just... I need to get back into it. I've, I've been... Oh, what have I been doing lately? I guess I've just been doing stupid YouTube stuff. Yeah. Just watching, you know... Our audience um, are not stupid. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I mean, no. I mean, this content is not yeah, the content. Your time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to remember because you know I need to get back into reading again. You know, the joke with my darling wife is, you know, I keep on telling her I love Dickens, and you know, oh, oh, give me Dickens. I really you, like you the big fat one and all that sort of stuff like that. But you know, the Dickens you're gonna novel. get you're gonna get a comment from Jake now. Well, I hope so. I'm, I'm telling you now through. because you said Dickens. That's well, what she's you're doing. gonna you're gonna get a comment. So I I need to get back into reading. I'm doing less of that and more of this modelling and stuff like that. And I love both equally. And I'm just ne neglecting one too much. So I need to get Same back way, into it. Dickens, as it well as you know, Patrick O'Brien, my first love. I've got loads of history books to read. It is I the want, main with it indeed. I fancy reading some of my train books at the minute i want to oh god book that i've got that i want to read called mm -hmm. the galloping sausage and other curious railway stories did somebody say sausage <laughs> it was the nickname of a tr of the uh, battle of britain class is that right mm. yeah it was, they were nicknamed the galloping sausages because mm -hmm. they look like sausages in buns because <laughs> the way because they decided that they wanted their train to stand out more. So instead of just having the cylindrical boiler, they put like um, a big cover that curved over the top and went straight down. Yep, yeah, yep. So if people say it looked like the galloping sausage, the only problem is it made it almost impossible for the drivers to see how to to see forwards. Sure. You can't really steer, can you? No. The only thing you've got to do is slow it down or speed it up. Well, that's the pro that was the problem because they couldn't see ahead. They couldn't see when to slow down because they couldn't see the warning signals and things. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Hmm. <laughs> 
Jim was asking earlier if this was the Meng Whippet. And uh, he's quite correct. It is the Meng Whippet. It is indeed. So do you Not primarily do armor, Jim? Or do you sort of mix it up? Hey, we sort of mix it up, don't we? None of us do anything yeah. in particular. Mm, I tend to do more aircraft. I do a lot of aircraft, yeah, but I yeah. am interested, possibly, this year sometime on on the Friends of Model, Models for Heroes YouTube channel, um, doing a sci-fi build, because I've never done a sci-fi build. Hmm. Just something to take me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Yeah, sure. That's, you know, I think I, I, I'm interested in all of it. Like, it's the engineering mm. of, of it all, like the solutions they came up with. It's interesting mm. to me. And, mm. um, you know, I think if you just limit yourself to, say, you know, aircraft, you're missing out mm. a lot. Mm. You know, Gary, I've got I'm sorry? I've got mail. I've got a parcel. Oh. Every oh. day he gets. I'll, I'll look, see, see if this looks familiar. Uh, can you see it? Oh, thank God. It looks Pasty. like either a team you. No, 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 no. Or, or AliExpress. I don't actually see it's not focusing, mate. Oh, it's backwards. West, West Berkshire Clothing. I know what that is. Um, Jim says he builds mainly aircraft and armor from the World War II era. Hmm. Carrie Ann is uh, living under the misnomer that I uh, I want to build a big pirate ship with all the rigging. No, that's what John Marley does. Oh, nice. I'm not doing anything with rigging. I will tie myself up in a knot. And Paul Cliff says USS Enterprise. I take it you mean. The Star Trek one. Mind you, I wouldn't mind doing. I wouldn't mind doing the USS Enterprise aircraft carrier. But um, of models for heroes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. The friends of models for heroes. Yes, we do have merchandise as well. Yes. What did you yeah, What did yeah. you order, Mikey? I've got the polo shirt and I got a normal oh, T-shirt, yeah. Morgan. All right. Oh, yeah, you remember you saying you were getting one for Morgs. That's the one, the Star Trek one. I built the aircraft carrier in Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. Mm. Don't get started on Minecraft. Mm. Yes, I've got to order myself a Friends of Models for Heroes t-shirt. They come with a warranty as well. But I need to talk to accounting first. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be back in a sec. Just going to give this a look. I didn't actually know you had merchandise, so I should get me some of that. Yeah, if you were. Uh, um, Before I am a member. If you go to West Berkshire Clothing, um, we have a little shop on their site. The same right. one that Models for Heroes use. Uh, the same, it's the same company. But they're de 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 different, uh, obviously different setups. So, so I've got to make eighteen of these. On there's not eighteen there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe it's fourteen. I'm doing. I'm doing D five and D six. Hmm. Do ten. Hello and good morning. To, oh, he won. Jim Alticott. <laughs> Let's play Minecraft, Gary. No, I'm not playing Minecraft, Rory. Um. It, it, it is a silly place. It's a bit like Camelot. Uh, Carrie Ann says she's telling mum. That's probably about the th me possibly ordering a t shirt. Jim Altercott says he won a Tamiya 48 F14 in the American M4H auction last month. I'll be starting that very soon. 
Nice. Very nice. John, Jim says to hello, hello to everybody in chat. Tiff says, I only use it for the purpose of building things I don't play properly. Oh, you want to play Fallout because you can build things in Fallout. I guarantee a response from Rory now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fallout being topical at the moment. Well, I can't. I mean, I, I'm into Fallout 76. I, I, I haven't played much of the other ones. Um, I played oh, a fair bit of Vegas, New Vegas, but um, I got to the point where I was oh, just fighting a certain... I had to talk to the boss of Legion, the Legion, I think it was. And, um, yeah, I was just getting killed all the time. But I need to go back and have another look at that. But, yeah, I'm big deep into fallout 76 i love that game but i really should play something else because it's you know I'm skyrim just... get yourself on skyrim boy well i've done a bit of that too uh Classic. i can't tell what level i'm up to or whatever but yeah they're good games aren't they being with a chance of winning 250 pounds worth of prizes cool <laughs> right I can't, I can't build, uh, he's finished the, oh yeah, Rory's finished watching all the Fallout series on Amazon Plus. Um, I need to Jake, go there. Jake says I play Fallout 4 and stream it. Well, you never told me. That's because <laughs> you never you answer your phone. Time. He's worried you crump his style. <laughs> worried I'd kick his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Gary the Gamer. <laughs> no. I, I, I don't think I've said this on here before. Um, Duke, Duke Wellington says, I fall out of bed. Does that count? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the reason... You get I, tablet for that. <laughs> yeah. The reason I do PlayStation is to stop me falling asleep. Because one of the side effects of the strokes is fatigue. And I don't think you ever get rid of it. So you get extremely fatigued very quickly. And uh, mm. hence we have a running joke when we do the Models for Heroes. Zoom sessions on an evening by nine o'clock. Gary's had it and he's got to go to bed. Um, but if I go downstairs of an afternoon, like I've been on here all morning, and if I didn't play on the PlayStation, I would sleep all afternoon. And then I wouldn't sleep at night. You would, because mine would just throttle you. <laughs> and, you um, <laughs> she kinked me pipe on my CPAP machine. Keeps threatening. Harry said, can we all remember that earlier Dad said his memory is better? Proving it's not, Jake has told you several times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet to differ, Gary. young lady. <laughs> I beg to differ. Oh, carpet monster. Uh oh. I was probably didn't lose Harry to your carpet monster. It's a wheel, so it could have gone anywhere. Jim says BVP or BBC rather. Recommend a good Osprey book to you. The Winter War between Finland and USR, USSR of late 1939. I see similarities with the current mess in Ukraine. Yes. They do say history repeats itself. Mm. Unfortunately, it's because a lot of people don't bother learning their bloody history. Uh, I think I think they do, but um. Oh, they don't. Look at the left. Not to get political, but they don't realise that what they're to call in other people is far closer to what their behaviour is like, and the way their thought patterns go. So we'll squirrel that. Yes, that's why I said not to get political. <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't mention any <laughs> words. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> right, I've got a load of wheels to make. Oh. Carrie I said, you I told you yesterday. <laughs> you didn't. She's trying, to belitt- she's trying to belittle me on, on on live on the air. In front of his public. In front of my adoring fans. <laughs> How could you have told me yesterday? You went golfing yesterday. No, that, that was Monday, that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gone to war with emus again, so we have learned from history. <laughs> oh, John will. <laughs> John goes to war with the wallabies. That's right. Hence that little right, just, uh, just, clip just settling the... this uh, this inter inter um, family argument that's going on here about my memory and fallout. I'm just looking at my WhatsApp messages from Jake because apparently. He's WhatsApp me. And we have I'm streaming now. I'm streaming if you want to watch. Doesn't tell me what he's streaming. So see. Yabu sucks to you all. <laughs> um da, 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 da. I can come round and after, and I came round. Oh yeah, you did come round yesterday, didn't you? <laughs> Oops. Are you proving Kerry's point? <laughs> well, she's just had a minor win. Let's put it like that. Live on Jim YouTube. Says, Does the kit have a high part count? Manga is akin to mini art, and our friend with drowning the modeler with a high part count. Um. um it's not too bad. It's just got suspension and things like that. I think, I think when you get to the running gear, that's that's where all the uh, all the parts are going. Uh, said. I would. I reckon if if this was a Tamiya kit, the part count wouldn't be that much less. So instead of doing wheels in two halves, I'd maybe do them in one molding. But I don't think it'd be that different. Um, maybe. Maybe. Who knows. <laughs> Well, I mean, they do, uh, tell me to do a Mark IV. I've built the tack on Mark IV. Um, but I haven't oh, built both. So oh, I can't I've got the tack on Mark I. With sponson cranes, which is going to be fun. Hmm. Never built a um, Mark IV. Might do it spon- if I had the full interior, I'd do it sponsoring off. Because okay. you, cra- you get a cradle. To put the sponsor on as well, like a little trolley. Well, that's cool. Mm. Paul has a question for Paul has a question for John. Okay. It's probably what's a wallaby. But someone's got very quiet. Okay, thanks, guys. The British armor. Uh, Jim says, okay, thanks, guys. British armor did retain similar suspension designs all the way up to the Churchill. Yeah, it's quite a lot of wheels on the Churchill. Hmm. At least we didn't go as far as the bloody Germans. I think Kerry's asking on behalf of Paul for John. What is the bird over in Australia that is the equivalent to the UK seagulls? Uh, we call them seagulls. <laughs> there you go. Um, they're, your yeah, they're just seagulls. The seagulls everywhere. It just you know, ours, uh, the, the just major a... ones around Sydney. I think are just called grey gulls. They just look like seagulls. And they're either larger or smaller than the ones you're, you're used to. I think, oh, my God, I've cut myself. Ah. They're just gulls that happen to live by the sea. Exactly. Um, they're just grey gulls, just sea gulls. 
It's because am I am I right in thinking there's no such thing as a seagull? Correct. It's a gull that lives by the it's sea. A, it's a gull, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in that case, grey gulls. Yeah. We've got a lot of bin chickens around as well at the moment, which are the um, ibis. You know, the ones... Oh, maybe that's what he's talking about, bin chickens. Yeah. Um, so uh, the, the ibis birds from the old um, hieroglyphics and um, ancient Egypt and stuff. From oh, what yeah, I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. the ibis is a, it's native to Australia and found its way over there. And they're bloody back here now, the bastards. Uh, maybe he's thinking of bin chickens. They're not really annoying. I mean, they're just they're scavengers, but they don't sort of like make any noise or whatever. There's just an awful lot of them. And like when I was a kid, I'd, I'd never saw them, but um, now they're everywhere. I, I think that's a good That's not thing. an excuse to go running them over. <laughs> well, there was a guy in Sydney that was uh, charged with eating one. Um, killed one in a park and put it on a grill on a barbie. And uh, he was arrested and the judge said, you can't do that. And he went, oh, back in my country, yeah, yeah. He was um, let off, I think. But, it you tastes know, like chicken. I couldn't tell you. It wasn't me. I have an alibi. I was murdering was a wallaby at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bin chickens. Yeah. That's what, that's what he was referring to. Just uh, just common ibis. I tell you what, common... I'll look it up. I have an app, so let's look it up. There was a guy in the UK arrested for doing sexual acts with a sick teeth. <laughs> There's always <laughs> one. <laughs> sexual acts with a seagull. So Jesus. this is. There's a group of parrots yeah. that caught doing acts with a rabbit. Well, that happened in the middle of Victoria Field Guide. Uh, birds. Let's have a look. Birds of prey. No. Cockatoos. Crows, ravens, no. cuckoos. Fairy wrens, finches. Lots of birds. Oh, the dog's back. He's barking outside. Da -dum, da -dum, dum. Right, let's to put one of these together and see how we can tell the difference. Oh, wow. It's seven minutes to the... Left. Oh, my goodness. Where did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> how to cook a galah? How do you cook a galah? Yeah, John, tell us. Um, not done it. You're well, you're shit Australian then, aren't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're not in Crocodile Australian. Dundee, did they not put it on a spit over an open fire? Oh, I don't know. I no, that was the porn years. film, Gary. <laughs> they spit through it. it. You know what? Right, I think I get to save you all. From... Oh, Australian white ibis. There you go. The bastards. <laughs> that thing. AKA the bin chicken. Oh, the yeah. bin. Snout on that. It looks yeah. like a giant curlew or something. Yeah, We've got a curlew that's got similar shaped beak. He's yeah, not quite as big. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that, these things that they're everywhere, and they just get into bins and stuff, and make a mess. But you know, they're harmless. They, they don't make any noise. They're, they're fine. They don't kill you. They're not poisonous. Which is it's a rarity in Australia. Is, yeah, because there's something in Australia that doesn't want to kill you. <laughs> I liked you, Wellington's comments there. <laughs> yeah. How do you cook a galah? You put a galah 
and a stone in a pot. And when the stone is soft, you eat the stone and throw away the galah. Sounds like a bloody good tip. <laughs> I even said an Australian accent for you. Yeah, you do a good Australian accent, John. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you mistake me for somebody else. I don't have an accent. It's almost like you've been practicing it all your life. <laughs> Just first moment. Four minutes to go. Yeah. Mind if we call you Bruce? I suck because I'm, I'm enjoying working on this. Yeah. Well, you know, trimming these the gears for the, the drive wheel. So, as I said, I'm covering everything in blood. But um, it'll buff out. Why? Well, because I sliced, I was just trimming something before, and I've got a new blade fitted. So, I obviously just got a bit of claret sort of everywhere. Oh, well. Uh, Don't you get a band aid? No. I've got, I've got a bandage, I've got a plaster, I've got a minion plaster. You can have a minion wow. plaster. It'll buff out. Yeah, Let's get this fuel tank on. I, I use... I'm going to get these wheels put together so I don't lose any. And then I think they're there for today. Hmm. My God, that's gone quick again. Oh, it's seriously quick. Yeah. We must enjoy each other's company. Funny, yeah, well, I must do, because I was about to say, in about 20 minutes, we'll all be on Discord together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'll be slowly Doing... turning paler and paler. And just like go and bandage yourself up. No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> a flesh wound. Oh, you pissed? No, <laughs> just, just loss of blood. <laughs> You've got, blood, blood, on everywhere. You've got blood on the instructions. It's just you know. <laughs> you've, you've literally put your sweat, blood, and tears into this one. <laughs> well, yeah. you're not wrong. What's, you know, at least there's not silver paint everywhere for a change. No, no normally it's oh, silver yeah. paint with you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, if you could do me a favour and zoom in on me, Mike, I'll just show you what we're up to as uh, as I wrap up my uh, tatty boys and all that. Yeah. So what we've done or why, today is step five, which is um, basically finish off the fighting compartment. Step six, with the exception of fitting the guns, but it's, you know, these cooling fins and the fuel tank and all that stuff are on. <laughs> Wiping the blood away. <laughs> Look at that. It's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I start on the wheels, but I've only done. Uh, I've skipped these ones for now, and I've just gone straight to that. And that's the one that that made me. I nearly died in the process, but, but I've done one. So <laughs> there we are. So yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. that's what I've done in this last two hours, apart from talk crap about Dickens and pasties and pasties, pasties, pasties. Hello, everyone. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> anyway. oh, I should clean oh you put the lubes on one side as well, have you? Um, there was, sorry? The yes. I'll, I'll put them on both sides. Air, get you. Hmm. God, I really should put a band aid on. <laughs> we don't call them sticking plasters here, because that's stupid. Hi, Mrs. W, you are late, unfortunately. Uh, we're finishing in a minute. <laughs> But welcome and thanks for joining us. Yeah, nice to see you, <laughs> Mrs. W. Uh, John leaks everywhere. Let's have a look at Gary. <laughs> what have you been doing, Gary? Okay, so um, today, today I have mostly been doing what John did. Um, I've finished the fighting compartment. There's a few gaps to fill, um, unfortunately. Gary, but on the camera, dude. <laughs> there's a few there gaps. <laughs> there's a few gaps to fill. Um, unfortunately but hey that's modeling isn't it if you don't have gaps you're not doing it right um so that's all built up again the lubes are on um no exhaust and no guns i'm going to put them on later and i have just started the wheels so i've got some sets of wheels that um i've just 
thrown together. I'll clean them up next time. First, first, first job next time will be to clean them up, and then we'll be cracking on. And I'll need a little butty box or something to put them in so you don't lose any. Hmm. There we go. And I have not cut myself today. Oh, well done. <laughs> you, we don't need to give you the safety safety scissors next week. <laughs> no, no, no. And what about you, Mikey? What have you done today? Very little. Um, <laughs> you know. Oh, I just realised that's why it's odd. I haven't got my uh, light on. But yeah, uh, put the fighting compartment on and build in the gap along there. So it looks like it's mm. a welded seam. I managed to make it so that that's the only gap I've got. Oh, well done. Yeah, that's skills for you, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. It's patience, that is. Not like me. I'll slam it all together and then I'll... It's looking quite cool, I think. It's nice. Yeah, A nice I kit. Can't... It really is a nice kit. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it. Let's get your mugshot on, Gary. Oh, shakes. You've got a technical now. There he is. There we go. I can oh, zoom out a bit, bit, actually. That's a bit scary. Oh, Gary. we're hearing it. Oh, very, very nice, sir. It's a, the best pasty we've seen all night. Yes, yes. very nice. <laughs> when, did you, when did you do a sneaky quick change live on air? Ah, when I went to take uh, Morgie's in for cake. But it's all right. It's nice and comfy. Decent polo shirts. Oh, I like that's the colours. I think they're only twelve pound fifty as well. That's uh, that's the first time I've seen one in the flesh, so to speak. Yeah, oh, well, on the nice comfy. Cool. Slightly bigger than I thought, but it's comfy. Um, I say it's well made. Only twelve pound fifty. Hmm. And that's the profits awesome. go to Friends and Models of Heroes, which eventually filter through to Models for Heroes. I don't think we make a profit on them, to be honest with you. Um, do we not? I'm not sure. I'll have to check at the committee meeting tonight. Hmm. And then I'll update I'll update the audience next time, if they're still with us. Yeah. Well, I hope, hopefully they will be, because we've had 10 pretty much all the way through. Wow. It's, gone, it's gone between 7 and 12, but it's stuck around 10 for most of it. Excellent. Excellent. We've done well. That shouldn't happen. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody would see us. But I thought we'd be you know, us three watching it, and that's all. Yeah, but, well. yeah, thank you. We've got people from literally around the world. So, you know, Duke yeah. in Australia, Jim in Chicago. We've got yeah, you know, people same, in the UK. Yeah. It's just pretty amazing. Three different continents. Um, yeah. yeah. But we need this from Asia now. <laughs> oh, yeah. and sorry. And uh, we've got Callum in, the, in New Zealand as well. So... Yeah. yeah, we've got a Kiwi. Mm. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Anyway, chaps, it's been wonderful. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, well, apart from yes. the blood loss, but no, that's that's all sort of looking. It's not bleeding anymore. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. same bat time, same bat channel. Well, we'll yeah, see yeah, the yeah. chat next week. We'll see each other in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Cheers. See you next time. Bye, Bye gents.